Hello everyone, welcome to the Daily Life Project channel. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Here in the RX8. And it's always a very fun car to be in. Um, actually wanna check with you guys the noise that I can get from the rear window. <laughs> I always leave it open so I can just hear the exhaust. It's so good. Let's <laughs> get an acceleration. It's got like a crisp sound, you know? It's almost like a mix between a motorbike and a car. It's beautiful. <laughs> okay, everyone, so, um, yes, we are here with our first uh, robots um, edition, okay? Um, I really got here the first one for the robotic and programming course. Okay, so yes, let's go. This is the only back white background that I got <laughs> available. <laughs> okay, so um, with time, I will have like a proper studio just to film um, this type of content where we just like talk and show you guys um, projects like. More detailed stuff like this robotic programming course for example and um, yes so like I said in the main video um, we're gonna go through the first edition we're going to see what we have to do with the first edition um, see what uh, always comes with like a, a book a magazine um, with information so we're gonna see um, what it's all about introduction and uh, yes, so this is edition number one, first day of the robotic and programming course, okay? <laughs> I'll do my best. On the computer, we have to go on to the website, which I'll show you just now. So then on the computer, I have no, I can translate into English, whatever it says there. Uh, on the magazine, we're just gonna go like quickly, just the info and then get to the, to the main cool stuff, okay? Um, so in the first one isn't like extremely cool robotic stuff but we have to go through the first one to get to the end okay so yes let's get to it so I'm going to flip the camera the other side and uh, like that I can show you guys all in detail okay let's go okie dokie so this is the first um, magazine so the first edition um, then I'll show you guys on the computer the whatever it tells us to do so starts like this this will be the first structure um, to explain um, how it all starts um, and it also gives us like some more info on other stuff let me see number one and now we open up and it tells us a bit of the story how um, the ancient machines um, used to work which weren't quite machines it was more like structures um, basically made out of um, brass they didn't even have cement at the time so it's just rock and brass yeah. and <laughs> wood and rock um, yes I think the only metal they had he yeah, actually talking about um, Egypt time so they only had brass at the time yeah. uh, was no, a, really. a they Olympics. didn't have no or steel, copper, no copper, yes, copper, um, steel. and then it also explains here, this is um, one of the first robots in 1937, Electro. it says that it was created um, by the company Westinghouse, created Electro, a humanoid robot, uh, with two meters high, which was like a big surprise at the time. Um, it was like a celebrity. I've never heard about it. Only through this um, course that I learn about this. And then it talks about uh, science and robotic. Um, what you need to create a robot. And all the materials that you need it. All starts with base materials. It says that the program consists... And uh, programming consists in giving um, 
giving orders to a proce processor, okay, that is like the brain of a computer, and uh, about all the codings and algorithms, uh, computer language that you have to give for programming. Um, and then uh, it's going to give us all the advice we need to mount the so as you can see on the first tricycle. it talks about making a clamps and, the tricycle. and a tricycle <clears throat> so um, now we turn over and then it gives us more into the ancient times uh, Egypt which um, I don't think it can be considered <laughs> robots <laughs> Um, but okay, they just wanted to take you all the way into the history, how they used to do, um, like, try and make structures that could, like, help them to do it. Yes. And uh, so, legends. This thing of making a structure, this idea, structures that move on their own, comes already from ancient times, okay? So, um, there's a lot of that going on here, but we don't have to go into that. <laughs> and then, um... A bit more of that, or Alexandra time, great of Alexandra, and uh, the library of Alexandra, which had a lot of knowledge, um, a lot of that was lost at the time. Um, and then the big electro robot, and its famous um, mascot, okay, that was a, it was a dog, it says here, that people used to, um, a lot of people went to see this in action, used to move, uh, walk, talk, it even used to smoke. <laughs> and the dog was called Spocko, you see. Uh, so they made the dog for the robots. They used to do all those things. Did you hear this when you were small? No. 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 So this, must, this was during <laughs> Second World War. Yeah, I wasn't born. Yes. So maybe... It's like if you go see the movies of Captain America and Iron Man, you can see all that too. So. <laughs> so it used to do a lot of stuff. But what? They used to. They had, had sensors and. Uh, it was not remote control. It wasn't remote control. It was <coughs> controlled by a person through a phone that had connected uh, here through the chest. So maybe that's, why they, that's where they got the Iron Man story from. Probably, eh? I never knew that. <laughs> um, then it says here, okay, this like uh, more personal stories about the robots. Um, okay, it's a pity it's not in English, but if you guys want to get to know more about this, then I can go in more detail. Um, then we have here all the prime materials that are used um, and origin, origins from it um, so it talks about, about a lot about minerals and metal and all that comes from then it talks about conductors and um, insulators, insulators um, conductors like gold, metals. silver metals uh, seawater because of the salts yeah. and minerals, copper <clears throat> And then you got the insulators like gloss, rubber, plastic, uh, mm. even olive oil <laughs> and wood. As you can see, it shows uh, light bulbs on, light bulb off. Um, yes, yeah, it's all about properties and materials, which was the, the base for all this. Then it also talks about elasticity yeah. that is going to be used on this um, first um, um, edition. Also talks about elasticity springs, yeah. how the yeah, kinetic the energy works. works. Okay. Um, transfer of energy. Okay. Kinetic energy. And then it also talks about clamps and tricycles, and what is a robot. So it says in the dictionary, robot is a machine or an electromechanic equipment that can be programmed okay through computer or through a software to make it become autonomous so they can do certain tasks um, in a repetitive mode or whatever commands you give it um, 
and um, it says at home you can already find a lot of robots like your washing machines and your vacuum cleaners because all that is programmed through um, an autonomous way like you have to give the program install it then through the software hardware you can um, even give it certain programs where you just press the button and it does everything automatically so all that is a bit of robotic world okay so here it gives us the option of doing the clamps uh, to get a feeling of um, motion and then it also gives us the option of doing the tricycle that moves on its own through kinetic energy of a rubber band okay um <clears throat> what else okay then it also gives us the first steps to programming um so it's share reflect imagine um so it actually starts from imagining creating playing sharing reflecting and imagining and it's a non-stop cycle <laughs> And it talks all about programming. Um, it's like the basic starts, okay? So that is, whoever has no clue about what programming and robotics is, it gives us a little simple explanation. And then it gives us the um, what type of computer we need, uh, software-wise and hardware, so that we can open up the, um, the app and install it because we're going to also do the uh, programming as you can see and give it different codings and orders okay so you can give him a bunch of orders and you're going to program it so that he on the computer okay for example the cats will do all that by itself because you gave the, you did the whole programming okay so uh, it's quite creative and fun give all the codings and everything and we're going, that's why we're going to need a computer to get into that. And um, then we have here the symbols of... Um, these are different coding controls. Okay, walking, 10 steps, walking only. You can see all this over here. Let me show you. So, yep, you can see all that right there. Let's see if I can get Okay see a bit, little bit better see all these orders different orders and buttons we give them so it's like um programming a, a a plc yeah okay but in this case you're going to see the little figurine uh going around from one side to the other okay. and doing whatever you told it to do just like here you see it says um Moving go left. after the rat but you can't Forward. just click one button you have to <clears throat> do step by step so that it will do whatever you programmed it to do okay so it's quite simple but it's very fun but it has this complexity <laughs> then it gives us all the introduction of the tools that we're going to need that already come with the kit so for example um we really been seeing more or less the parts and everything else just so that we could get ahead on or else the video would be um too big and too long so these are the um, this is the claim they're talking about right here it is see so this clamp is so that we can attach all these um different parts okay and uh, little plastic springs and everything else you see just like that um so it gives us like um with the tool. Yes, it's like a tool Just so that we can um, insert this insert into in the yeah. to the little tiny holes, you see? Just like this. <clears throat> um, it actually helps a lot. Yeah. As I said, we already like forwarded uh, some of this. So in the book, it doesn't explain <laughs> how to connect and build it. It just gives us like a, a little preview. And then... You had to go onto the computer and like I'll show you guys just now and then we go bit by bit but of course we're going to forward it a bit and get like to the main parts so that you guys can see um, it's, this is a course it's not really to make it boring <laughs> and, uh, 
that is all said and we've seen all this okay so now i'm going to open up the computer so that we can see what is going on and here are all these parts so uh, these are spare parts yes and uh we did the clamp but it's boring so <laughs> we passed up to the to the tricycle okay as you can see um, we just left some like very few parts just to mount it up for fun to show you guys and then we'll go to the final process okay let's go so while the computer is um, still um, taking care of its problems <laughs> let's just see here so just gonna get this little fella all equipped and mounted up so basically I think it's like a it's, it looks like a cat's so almost there this is our little fella okay the cats on tricycle it's all mounted up and uh, it's got an elastic on this side we'll show you just now what it does um, and this over here is the on online so you can actually go online uh, there's no login or anything just for the app let me just check out okay so yes basically um scratch as you can see there that is the the websites where you can also follow us and join us um to do all the the programming fun stuff okay it's actually here on the first edition magazine it shows here okay mit um so maybe mit was involved with this i'm not mm. sure um and it's quite easy you can actually um join or sign up okay um you can join or just sign up to a to an account um, like that it's easier and you it's, you can just save all your projects and everything else. so that's what we did as you can see here daily life projects okay um, and then it has all this information projects so some people that have already created that's projects similar. or it's already done these projects yeah, I don't know by who <laughs> um, this is like um, recommended projects and for curiosity and you can just check it out it's actually quite intuitive and very easy for all ages so it's got yeah. a bunch of stuff um, now if we press create I would like to translate this um, yeah so when you press on create it actually um, becomes all the in English you see so here it's all in Portuguese a bit create and it actually is already all in English um, so we'll get into this um, just now as you can see just like it's showing here on the magazine now this, is this right here is the first oh, and I'm gonna get first into the first of the two <clears throat> yes um, here as you can see it shows here Jesus. deliveries it gives general instructions and then you press on the edition because this is the first edition um, you go then choose the first edition and it sends you into a page where it actually tweezers. shows you a video of everything so you do either the tweezers which you can start by doing the tweezers and, and then you do the tricycle, the tricycle. Yeah. Um, you cannot do both because parts yes you can't do both because common. parts of common one parts, give parts. have to give to do yeah. this the parts of the clamp have to give to do the tricycle yeah. so you can't you see there what okay. just happened right. so the idea is what is to show kinetic the, um, energy, kinetic energy the rubber with the rubber band and how i'll put this in bigger screen and how the um, the cats okay <laughs> will take movement using the elasticity and the kinetic energy of the rubber and um, turn it into movements okay as you can see it's pulling back the elastic okay yeah. 
creating tension okay that's energy stored up onto the rubber and releases. there you go releases into movements okay so that's the idea for the first edition and that's what we got here so um we pull it back it is going to crash or you just stop it <laughs> okay and now our release goes actually quite fast so you get a lot of speed just by using this one elastic rubber which um, these little hooks here on the wheels okay just attaches like that and by reversing or just turning it by hand um, letting it go it will just take into movement okay and in the magazine it actually explains with more detail why that happens okay and it talks all about the kinetic energy um, I don't think we have to get very into that because we are going to try and fast forward so that the videos don't get too long but yes let me just get here okay you see so um, talks here about it um, yes just what I said about the wheels um, creating tension on the elastic accumulating energy and by releasing it releasing the elastic kinetic. tries to recover its um, original state by releasing all that energy onto the wheel giving it traction and um, converting it into movement to the front of the tricycle Okay, and that is known as kinetic energy. Uh, depending on how much tension we we apply on the elastic, it will go further distance and quicker. Uh, if you put too much tension on the elastic, it breaks. It snaps. The okay, it snaps. Very good. Now let's see the programming parts. Okay, so. It actually gives us two challenges okay we are going to do this first one so we already did these three and it's quite easy so um, anyone can use this okay online um, then you can always have it on your browser so that you can follow us up on the videos and just uh, more or less do the same as us okay so here's I'm um, videoing this you can like screenshot it or whatever and you can see the the challenge okay so now we're going to do the last one so you go to these different options right here control so you go to these different options as you can see here for example control and uh, just stop this I can show it says here choose this control which we're going to do this last one now which says by pressing um, when, when space when key or for press, example when by key pressing pressed. key down yeah. okay downwards um, this is going to happen it's going to change direction to 180 degrees and move 10, 10 paces. paces so now we go get the button control that's on the on the book just like there and we're going to place it around here more or less and now we're going to get the pointing direction command we should go to motion right there let me just turn the computer more on to this side there you go okay and uh, we're going to place it over here. Point direction. Yes. Okay. There. And now Hello. we're going to put um, 180 degrees. So then you press here on the 90. Okay. And it gives you this um, option to put the how much degrees zero. you want it. In this case, it's going to be 180. Just that's the challenge it's giving us on the book okay and now we are going to get the other command steps. that is the steps, steps. Uh, walk 10 steps so, so we, take 10 we go steps. to motion still on motion right there and now we're going to move 10 steps okay we're going to place it under direction okay and now here instead of space we wanted to say um, arrow down okay down arrow in this case and here we have yeah. left arrow, right arrow, and here we're going to have um, up, up arrow. arrow. 
okay so here we got our challenge programming so just on PL like PLCs robotic programming it's more or less like this right yeah. but it's more complex because <coughs> this is it we wish that all PLCs and that yeah, would be like this <laughs> to be so much easier <laughs> it would be cool if you could take this and install in different yeah. <laughs> but that's uh, that's a that's for dreams okay <laughs> okay so now as you can see the little cat there is moving and he is moving uh, by pressing the buttons or commands that we gave him. Okay, so in this first challenge, they want us to, they're still not complete because then they want us to boot run or stop, okay, yeah. mode. But as you can see, if Maybe. you press now the arrow down, okay, press the arrow down, it turns down. turns down. If you press the arrow up, it turns the opposite direction up. If you press to the right. right, it goes right. The left, it carries But if on. you press down again, press down, and you press press down, and now left, it straightens up, yeah. you see? So that's why it's got 90 to the left and 90 to the right. Both angles. Okay. So then it says, so that we can press on run and stop mode, we will need this control button, which is repeat always. So we go to the control and repeat always. So this one? forever. That's on there. Forever. No. Uh, to be that's on there. Forever. Ah, okay. Yes. To be the forever mode. Yes. Control. Okay. Take this and then it now. says we go to motion. <laughs> Trying to move this whole thing up a bit. Yes. Just change okay. that 10 steps for the and just mm. flip them over yep no this not no yeah not no just change um switch them because move 10 steps has to be oh, one down. yeah so t press on the uh, go separate them yes there you go okay and now move 10 steps okay now okay. on this forever now we go to the motion and we get uh the button that says Slide. Slide. Uh, slide one second yeah. in direction to a random position. Okay. There you go. Okay, so that's just what I'm doing right here, guys. Repeat forever and slide one second in um, direction of whatever okay. um, we choose. So in this case, it is a random. Random? Random position, yes. Okay. What's the other option we have? And it's one second. Yes. Yeah. What's the other option? Instead of random, what did it say? Uh, no, no, if you press here. Yeah. Oh, here. Yes, what does it say there? Oh, mouse, mouse pointer. points, okay. So, yes, random position. Okay. And yeah. um, then we have our clicking on the green flag. We'll just mount this whole programming step up. So, now we need the when clicked on the green run mode flag. Wait, when? I think it's events now. Go go upper to events. Yes, there you oh, see there. Okay, when. So yes. when run mode is on, and you put it above the forever control. Put it right there on top. Okay. Yes. Okay. So what we got there is Inflict. what we have Inflict. here on the first Inflict. challenge. Yeah. Inflict. Okay. Inflict. Then there. Yes. Yeah. So. Now, when we click on the green flag, let's see if it works. We will have. There you go. The cat going. <laughs> you see? <laughs> goes up and down. <clears throat> he goes down. Yes. Goes so, the right, if I the click left. on run mode, he just goes yeah. to any random <clears throat> position. Yeah. Okay. So, he stays one second. Yeah. And then just goes to any random position. Okay, it just keeps on changing. So he won't stop because it's forever. Yes, forever. So that is quite interesting. And um, now we will go to the second challenge. And oh, and only stops when you press on stop. Yeah. There. That's okay. But to, for stop, you don't have to give a command on this case because stop, you just stop the whole uh, movement. So on the second challenge, it says. We ask you to modify the blue block that we just done over here. Okay. 
and instead of having um instead of having random random and this glide one second to random position it says to choose the motion button point to the mouse wherever the mouse is indicated okay okay so and the glide goes back yes and now we have to get the go not random this go one, to go press to. Uh, I think it's that one, yes. What else do we have? Go to. Oh, point towards. There you go. Point, point towards. towards mouse okay. pointer. There you go. And you just place it, replace previous one just like that, okay? okay. And now we're going to click the green flag again. Okay. okay. And now wherever you point the mouse, but it's right here, it will follow the mouse, you see? Okay. So now the cat, as you can see, is following. He, you aren't pressing any button. No, He's no. not pressing any button no, just... of the mouse. He's just sliding the, the point of the mouse and the cat is following. Okay, so we aren't moving the cat. He is following yeah. the mouse pointer. <laughs> So that's actually quite cool. Yeah. So all these directions, okay, the are so that when the cat is like, previously he was like one six second to random position, he's just um, flipping, okay? And that's yeah. just to show that you manually also um, can direct it. We tried putting minus 90, right? He turns around. And it just turns around. Yeah, so yes, this. yes. That's what it is. So it's ninety minus ninety. Exactly. So if we wanted to like make him walk right or left, then we would have to just um we'd have to go on left the... arrow, we would have to not maybe let's see how it would work. Now this is us inventing. <laughs> yes, yeah, so right now like if we put um we changed minus ninety. Yes. Um, and put it um, glide move, to move, mouse pointer. Move to mouse pointer. We come here. Instead of going round, turning round and round, he will like follow the the mouse pointer. You see, just by booting here, minus ninety. So it was say it's told us to boot ninety. Yeah, so that you just swerve round and round, yeah. right? Can so by putting angle. minus 90 here, just by doing that, instead of swerving round and round, he will actually follow the the mouse pointer. <laughs> so you can do a lot. Because then you got what? Variables, right? Yeah. Press there on variables. Well, it's just what it shows. It's just like, we're not going to get into detail because we'll go book by book. Show variables. So it says Six. you can do all this, variables. You can There's go blocks, blocks know, make a block. You can actually make your own block, but then we'll get into that later. So operators, on. you can do sizes. Yes. Plus fifty, minus fifty, one to ten. So it's actually quite we, complex. We got sensing. Yes. We got sensing. That's touching things. It touches. You can see? sense. Control. We've seen the controls. We got you events. can make your own blocks. These are events. Yes. Events. Sounds. We got sounds. sounds. Stop sounds. And you can audio. actually yes. Looks. These are looks. Think, switch, change size. Exactly. There's all sorts of things. And the motion. And which motion. We've seen already. We use already. Yes. So right it. now we are just following <coughs> the the first course step. because that's how we have to do it. This is the first step and second challenge. And this is the first edition. Yeah. So first edition is complete everyone. Congratulations for your first day on oh, robotic and programming course yes. ours as well ours. okay <laughs> <laughs> and of all you viewers okay congratulations and remember you can go here okay do it yourself repeat what we did on the video which is quite fun like that we all in symphony okay that's how you say it right? yeah yes we're all, yeah. We're all synced. Synced. we all synced synchronized. okay synchronized <laughs> And um, you can also go to this site and s check out the video, okay, yeah. of the structure that we did. 
Um, that's scratch. the scratch yep. to do the programming. Okay. And uh, you can check actually, um, if you want, you can actually go and check all the deliveries, okay, all the editions. Uh, if you want to like um, cheat on it, I don't know if it goes into detail the editions of the books. Let me press. <laughs> oh no, you see, it shows you. Uh, let me see. If you press on number one, yeah, so yeah, so number one, so give you this. Okay. Uh, instructions. It gives you the instructions to mount up mount the up, yeah. structure. Okay. So, okay, I could have actually showed that this was so for the clamps, yeah. you see, so. you could like pick up the cups, okay, with two fingers, and then uh, yes. you could also do the tricycle, which you need the pulse from the first one to do the tricycle. Some of them, yeah. Okay, some of them. So, this is what we had to do, all this, to get to the tricycle. Yeah. Which uh, still wastes like, what, uh, half an hour. Half an hour, yeah. Try to figure out how the tool yeah. works and everything. There you go. Uh, <laughs> and then it also gives you what is this uh, link to scratch programming solutions okay so actually you got also here what you have here okay this is like to people that share the solutions for everything and by pressing the green flag it actually shows you everything that it does you see um so this was to follow the the mouse pointer <laughs> and press stop. Okay. So yes, um, you actually can uh, copy this link. You can do all this. So don't need anything special. You just can register or you can sign up, and you don't even have to sign up if you don't want to. Okay. So yes, quite cool. Okie dokie, so yes, quite fun. So it actually even gives you the solution for the problem before you even do it, just so that you know what it's going to do. Um, so it's got everything you need. I mean, it can't get easier than this. So yes, what a fun way to learn. And I think it will be easier by going through all the editions. Okay, guys, so thank you very much okay so hope you guys all enjoy that okay it was uh, quite cool a lot of fun next week we're going to be opening up the second edition okay so stay tuned this is all going to be in a separate playlist okay just for these videos of the robotic and programming course so i'm not going to um, include it mix it with the other main videos of the of the channel okay it's just going to be like in a separate playlist okay so I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, stay tuned because next week, second edition, okay, it's going to be a blast, I think. I'm not sure because we're going to see it when the time comes. <laughs> okay, so with this, stay tuned and see you on the next one. Out.